Hi, I'm Tom. I'm a member of the 125 Live TechMates team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use widgets on an Android smartphone. Some of you might be wondering, what is a widget? Well, actually a widget is related to applications. And what they are is they're a convenient way of providing information directly to you on your screen that you can, that you can look at and, and see without having to open up the application. One of my favorite widgets, for an example, would be the weather and time. It presents that information to you. And also another thing, widgets quite often have some additional functionality that you can easily access by just tapping on the widget. So I'll demonstrate with the time and weather app that I like. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make some room for it on your first home screen. Reason being that these are the types of, this should be something that you like to look at often and get quick information on. So the first thing to do would be to make some room on your first home screen. So I'm going to do that. I'll take, take the first couple of rows here and move them on to my second home screen by pressing, dragging, and then dropping them. That's the first one. Press, drag, drop, back to the first screen. Press, drag, drop, throw back to my first screen. Press, drag, drop. Almost there. Three more to go. One more. All right. So now I'm ready to show you how to get the widget. To get them, if you press on the open space on your screen, you'll be presented with this brief pop-up menu. I'll tap on widgets. And I'm presented with a screen that shows me all the widgets that are available currently on my phone. As you can see, there's more than a screen full and I scroll quite a bit. You can see there are lots of widgets there. There is one that comes with the AccuWeather that will show you the temperature. And as you can see here, the, the one, the second one here on the top shows you it's a rectangular one, custom four by two. It presents you with the time and the temperature and things like that. But my favorite is actually another one. So I'm going to scroll down until I find it. It's down there quite a bit. So I keep scrolling. And there it is, the time and weather app. In order to get one, you just press on it and then drag it and drop it on your screen. Now in this case, it looks like it's a little bit off center. And if that happens, all you have to do is adjust the shape and that'll kind of position it a little better. So in this case, I'll press on it. And then I'll drag that right side handle dot there and drop it on the right side of my screen. As you can see, now it's centering within the space that I have provided and it's right in the middle of my screen now. So if I tap in a neutral area of my screen, there we go, it went away. Now, some of you might be wondering why didn't ask me for a location or anything like that? The reason is that I already been, I've already been using this widget and it already knows, my, it remembered my location. So, but if you are, are getting into a, and installing a widget for the first time, you may have to provide some information depending upon what the widget it is. In this case, it wants to know your location so it can give you the weather for where you are. So that's pretty much it. It's not too difficult. Uh, what, I would ex what I would suggest you do is to tap on a neutral area on your screen, tap on widgets, take a look at what's available on your phone and experiment with them. It, you're not gonna break your phone, just try them out and put them on your screen somewhere, on, anywhere and see what they can do. And if you don't like them, remove them. If you like them, keep them and reposition things on your screen to put them where you want them to be. So that's it for this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and uh, stay tuned because we will be updating these presentations and also adding more uh, from time to time.